Welcome to St. Croix, part of America's Caribbean paradise, known as the Virgin Islands. It is 40 miles south of its sister islands, and even though it's the largest of the islands, it's the least visited and the most overlooked. Usually, cruise ships dock here on the pier in Fredericksted, bringing in daily swarms of people. But since the cruise ships aren't running, it's a lot higher to here now. So we've been here swinging on anchor in Fredericksted, diving the pier that is teeming with underwater life instead of human life. Today, we're picking up anchor and sailing around the corner to the twin city of Christianstead for a different view of the island. Also, we need some groceries. Maybe it's the nomadic blood in our veins, or the feeling of freedom while sailing, but the more we move, the happier we are. had a little mishap trying to land the drone while going what five or six knots no i was four we were slowed down four? and then the yeah. wind picked up oh uh, is that what happened so got one there one there one here um i wasn't able to keep it steady enough for brandy to catch it so she wasn't able to grab it and it came right towards me and i grabbed it and the blades, <laughs> blades got too close because I was holding the remote too. So the blades got too close and clipped me. I'm just glad it wasn't your eye. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Eye protection helps. Oh, it's like... Oh. It was gushing. Like this whole rag is pretty soaked in blood, but... Let me see. It'll heal. Does he it need stitches? No. Butterfly stitches like your dad would do? Maybe some duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> But I think we got some epic so shots. <laughs> Jeez. It's gonna be another gusty day. Uh, a lot of clouds. Hopefully no rain. I don't think there was rain in the forecast, but you never know. We might have a little too much sail up right now, so we may be putting in a reef and dropping this 150 and putting up the little lady. Oh yeah, this is our new big boy. Yeah that Ann gifted us. So you gotta see the second sale. If you missed last week, you should go check out our other sale that Ann gifted us. Wind shifting. All right, time to manage sales. We're hauling butt. Unfortunately, this won't last all day because we're gonna turn this corner and be beating into it. Tack, tack, tack. Hopefully it's short tacks though, and yeah. steady wind. I say we do short tacks, stay close to the island. Yeah. That way we don't get overpowered. Yeah. I'll let Wilson do his job once. I don't really ever like Wilson, our autopilot, to take us around corners because it's always a risk of getting... Increased gusts. Yeah, just a yeah. knockdown gust or something that we're not prepared for, so. We could always let them steer and just manage the sheets. Yeah, true. Oh man, I'm so glad I had my gloves on earlier when I had to release the main.
is just going up to change out our big boy to our little lady because we were feeling a little too overpowered. And we figured, hey, if it doesn't work out, we can actually go ahead and change her back. Such a pain in the <laughs> changing out the headset while you're underway, especially when the waves are just like pounding into it. But we got it done. Seems like we're a little more controlled, way more comfortable, less overpowered. It's pretty strong. I think just by having the main without a reef and the little jib, we're doing fine. Yeah. How fast are we going? Five, six. Not bad. Four nine. Five three. We need to attack. We need to attack. <laughs> My nurse is coming to my rescue. Sorry, mommy. Not your fault. Cutting up. This is my amazing immune system. <laughs> like Wolverine. I just kind of want to clean it up. Just... It's like you got you fight with a cat. No, uh, just a drone. Just a drone. I think it won this first round. Having an awesome sail so far. We're almost there. We've taken most of this time to actually go over a video we've been promising to make for you guys forever. Uh, a, a video about our solar setup and our batteries and all the electronics that we use on solar. So we've asked pretty much every social media outlet about it. But we wanted to ask you guys one more time, if there's anything that you guys want to know, leave it in the comments below and hopefully we'll answer it in this video that I'm not going to promise that it's <laughs> going to come out next week, but we're... Should be very soon, if not next week, very soon thereafter. Yeah. We promise. <laughs>
jumping anchor. Always so fun. Don't let anybody tell you that sailing isn't a lot of work, because it is. Just the end process is a lot of work. The sails are right away, the solar panels have been changed, the water maker, is up. <laughs> water makers are running. Our wind scoop is in. Computers are out. The, you haven't seen it yet, but we've been carrying the paddle boards inside the boat. So those are out. <sighs> Computers are out, because we gotta, a video <laughs> that's coming out in a couple days and it's this one. Since we got scuba certified back in February, we have been hungrily hunting down some of the primo spots to explore the underwater world. Now living on a boat, it's easy to sail to these places, but to really know exactly where to dive, it's always a bonus to go with someone that knows the underwater locals of the area. And today, we are lucky enough to get invited out with our friends Mandy and Corey and the dive team at Scuba here in Christiansted to visit some of their favorite spots. There are countless places to dive here, and they're all so different. Where else can you do a pier dive, a shore dive, a wreck dive, a reef dive, all within a day? But what they're really known for here is the wall. Welcome to your first dive site this morning. We are at the Wall of Cane Bay, one of our favorite dive sites on this island. Now, if you guys notice, you're looking down, we're about 30 feet of water right now. All these little patches, that's all the nice coral in the reef, all the blue sand areas, stingrays, garden eels. We do have a coral garden right over here as you guys drop down or come back up um, uh, for your safety stop at the end of the dive. You guys will notice some stuff over here. Then walking over to this side of the boat, all this nice dark blue water. This is a reef that goes down to the wall that sits right over here and it goes pretty, pretty deep. So you guys to keep your eye out for all the regulars. We do see uh, Caribbean reef sharks here every once in a while, turtles, stingrays, free swimming more eels, nurse sharks, all kinds of garden eels up in the sand, a lot of small stuff in town, a lot of juvenile stuff, juvenile drums especially, keep your eyes out for those. Junior, tell them what they want. All right, guys. Let's go diving. <laughs> All right. That's, that's easy part. <laughs> so we're going to do the giant stride entry off the back of the boat. First, we're going to swim out down to the wall area. And then we're going to uh, cruise between 70 and 80 feet. Okay, so who wants to go diving? Me! All right. <laughs> The wall runs along the North Shore and starts at 30 feet and drops off to over 13,000 feet.
The richness and the nutrients where the deep meets the shallows brings a rich diversity of life. Welcome to your second dive site this morning on Long Reef, which stretches basically, sorry, but from that tip right there to where we came out of the Christensen Harbor, Long Reef is the second largest reef in the Caribbean outside of Belize. Um, and this by far is probably staff's best and favorite dive site on Long Reef. We're at Turquoise Bay, or better known as the Turtle Airport. Let's go see some turtles. <laughs> dive number two. Three of the seven species of endangered sea turtles can be found around St. Croix. Leatherbacks, hawksbills, and green sea turtles. Occasionally, you might be able to spot a loggerhead. Sea turtles spend all of their lives in the water, and when resting, they can hold up their breath up to five hours and only come to shore to lay their eggs and rarely disown themselves. That means most male sea turtles will never set foot on land after they hatch. Another day, another dive. <laughs> Two dives. That was so Epic. awesome. <laughs> Epic. Epic. That was great though. We would have never gone out to those sites on our own. Yeah. And yeah. it was really rough for the first site that they were going to do, but he decided to take us to the second one, which was more calm, which is really nice to have a captain and, and crew that know exactly where everything's at. and. I mean, they knew on that second dive we were going to see all those turtles. <laughs> and we did. Huge, huge turtles. Oh, man, they were so cool. So if you guys are ever down here in St. Croix, then you definitely need to check out Scuba. They've got their stuff down and super friendly crew. We'll leave their contact information in the description below. Making some keto pizza for our man behind the cameras and I just date night. Having a date night in movie. We're gonna bring out the cuddle pit. Hopefully these turn out good because I've never made this one before. So. So what is a keto pizza? Well, typically you're not gonna find wheat in it. We have coconut flour. Eggs, Parmesan cheese, garlic powder, onion powder, and oregano. And that is it for the base. I think I need a little more coconut flour. It's a little runny, huh? Yeah. I, mean, I think it was supposed to be grated, maybe. But we just had shredded, so. Yeah. So it'll make it nice and cheesy. We were going to go out to eat tonight and have like a proper date night, but <laughs> everything's closed. So Wonderful. Not everything. Well, most things where we would want to enjoy like um, legit corrosion. That's how you say it, right? Yeah. Corrosion food, St. Croix food, basically, like authentic St. Croix food. Uh, those places are closed. So we decided just to do a date night in. And plus, I don't think they're gonna appreciate us snuggling up next to each other <laughs> like we want to now. Chop up some pepperoni. Oh, that looks fine. Yeah. 
Wait, should I call it in? Ring. Can I have a pepperoni and bacon pizza? And one pesto goat cheese sun ripened tomato pizza. Coming right out. How long will that be? Three hours. <laughs> <laughs> pepperoni? So one the spicy pepperoni. Dinner and bed is served. Yummy. Yours kind of looks like old school school pizza. Look at that. That's fancy. As much as we want to let, let you join us, <laughs> we're going to let you guys go. We appreciate you watching the video. Thanks for tuning in. Give us a thumbs up if you like that episode. Tune in next week and leave a comment. Yeah, and share with your friends. Subscribe. And your neighbors. <laughs> and your cat. <laughs> your cat. <laughs> Thanks, Bye. guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.